Welcome to what's most likely going to be the most entertaining Flavor of the Tour that we've had so far. Jonas Splix joining me this week, and this is one of the coolest spots you're ever going to see at the Players' Championship. We're on Tacos on 12, Taco Lou, one of the local favorite restaurants. I think it's literally the only place Jonas has ever eaten in his hometown now of Jacksonville, Florida. And we have some of your favorite tacos in front of us that you eat multiple days a week. Can you break them down for me? Act like I'm ordering from you. You're the server. What do we have in front of us? How to do 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 This is what we do. He told me he was going to sound like a Swedish Muppet if I asked him to explain to me what we had. And that is what we have. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I will tell you then. We have some breaded fish tacos, banging shrimp tacos, and pulled chicken. So we will be inhaling these very, very shortly. But first, let's talk about being here at the Players' Championship. You live here. You love it here. We were just talking about it. You said if you could live in New York City or Jacksonville, Florida, and the weather was the same in both places, you would choose Jacksonville every time. Yeah, 100% of the time. Yeah. Um, no, I love this place. It's, um, it's so kind of refreshing to come back here and you got the beach here you got all the nice people here it's uh, it's like coming to a vacation home and just uh, be able to live here is even better <laughs> first of all how many tickets have you gotten for people this week and how fun is it to have the kind of hometown support for you um, well last year I had 92 tickets um, this year, I'm not going to be able to get as many, but I'm going to get a couple. So I haven't really counted how many. You can ask me on Sunday again, yeah. but uh, it's going to be quite a few. And, uh, and, you know, walking around here and you see people they haven't seen for a while and you just walk around and, you know, talk to a couple of them. And yeah. you've you got to make sure that you don't talk too much. You actually focus on the golf a little bit too. People say that maybe you would have an advantage playing here at your home course. This is where you practice day in and day out, but there's also kind of a lot of distractions, right? Oh, they're everywhere. I mean, you just go in home, you can, you kind of, you know, being home, you always see something that you want to do, do and take care of. And when you're on the road, you're in the ho hotel room, you can do whatever you want. Right. Maybe not bashing it down like a <laughs> rock star, but uh, there's a lot more distractions this week. And you got to make sure that you kind of do what you usually do and just, uh, you know, try to chill a little bit too. Otherwise, there's so many things you, need, you can do here. Talking about distractions, I'd assume that you have more distractions now after your tremendous Masters finish, you tied for second in your very first time at Augusta. Have things changed for you since that Masters finish? No, it was, it was incredible being there. I mean, you said it looked easy. It was, it's really, really hard. How do you view, you know, the way that your career is just escalating? It, it almost seems month by month right now. Uh, no, you're kind of right. I mean, everything is kind of new right now. And just going into the next few months where I'm playing in Europe and here, i never really done it before, and um, I'm just going to try to embrace and try, my, try to play my best golf, and uh, uh, that's all I really can do, and kind of like catch myself a little bit in the moment and kind of enjoy it too, and I uh, uh, no, it's, it's all I want. I mean, it's really, really exciting. So what's like the one thing? Are you a big Baba Booey fan? What's like the best thing someone could yell right after you hit the ball that would actually make you laugh? Oh. Meatball? I think, I Swedish think, fish? They call me the Swedish meatball sometimes. I don't know where that comes from. But, um, I haven't really heard anything really that good yet. Um, I like the guys over in um, at Colonial that, uh, that scream, let's get blitzed. <laughs> let's get blitzed. I like that. We made yeah. a t-shirt or two. Uh, I like that, that one that, a right? lot. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably the most fun I ever had on the golf course. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to tell me again what's, what, how they prepared this? Holy doody, cody doody, da da. Welcome to my life. See, everyone <laughs> thinks my job is easy, but then you deal with stuff like this. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> 